So if you've come to this video, you have a block on LinkedIn and you're not able to send new connection requests. The good news is this video will help solve all of those issues and make it so you can get back to sending connection requests and being active on LinkedIn. My name is Chris Casalino, and I am the co-founder and head of services of Uptown Creation, a B2B marketing and business development company. So as I said, this video is going to go over all of the different reasons why you have a connection request block on LinkedIn, and then also go into all of the solutions to those blocks, whether this is your first time getting that block or whether this is a longstanding issue that dates back to months and even years ago of you not being able to send connection requests, this video will be the end all be all fix to that. There's not a block that I've encountered that I haven't been able to overcome. So to start, let's go over the way that action blocks and connection request blocks present themselves on LinkedIn. So you might experience something like getting a message like this, where it's explicitly telling you that your actions have been restricted. Another way that an action block may present itself is making it so you can only send a connection request when with an email address of the person that you're trying to connect to. So the tier of this type of action block where you need to enter an email address is either the least severe or the most severe, which kind of sounds counterintuitive, but I've seen it on both ends of the spectrum. It just kind of matters what your previous use history is. Regardless, if you're at this video, you probably know that you have a block or you're worried about getting a block. So the first step is to identify why you got the block and then not do that activity again. More likely than not, it's because you're sending out too high of a volume of connection requests and using a bot or automation to do that. So you need to stop using that bot and automation and start doing things manually and being more thoughtful about the targeting that you're using, as well as making it so you're not doing too much volume. I would recommend doing 50 to 75 connection requests at a maximum a day and taking some rest days in between. If you're really abusing your account, you need to dial it back to even maybe 25 a day for a while to make sure that you don't encounter these types of blocks in the future. The first way to get rid of these blocks though, outside of time alone, so time is going to be the only thing that is really gonna overcome blocks, but then there's ways to mitigate the amount of time. And one of those ways is to withdraw pending connection requests. So the way to withdraw pending connection requests is to go to my network on LinkedIn, and then you'll see invitations and you'll wanna click the see all button. Then you'll see all of the invitations you've received, but you'll want to go and click sent. So if you click sent and you're receiving action blocks, I'm gonna guess that this number is probably over the 2,800 mark. I usually see blocks kick in at around 2,800 to 3,200, but I've seen accounts go all the way up to you know 6,000 pending connection requests without getting a block. The moral of the story though, is you wanna keep this number below 2,500 and if you can below 2,000 to really keep your account as safe as possible. And so the only way to do that is to withdraw these pending connection requests. Unfortunately, there are no easy ways to do this. There's no bots, there's no tools. Using one of those things is only gonna create more problems. You used to be able to mass withdraw connection requests, like do an entire page at once, but LinkedIn removed that capability because they're trying to make it this be a deterrent. They're making this be a filter so people can't send out too many connection requests. So the way to overcome this is to withdraw the connection requests and you just hit withdraw and then you hit withdraw again when you have the pop-up. Now that can take a long time if you're having to click back and forth and especially if you have thousands of these to remove. It's going to take you hours no matter what, but that could take way longer if you have to do it that way. So the hack to this and the easiest way to withdraw pending connection requests is like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to click withdraw and then kind of see where it lines up on the screen. And then you're going to move your mouse until you're able to be over both withdraw buttons at the same time. So when I click withdraw, I can click this withdraw immediately 
And what I can do is, let me go down here just to show an example. I can just double tap without having to move my mouse. So click, 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 click. And if you do that, that's gonna be the fastest way to withdraw pending connection requests. And that's an internal method that I use and I don't share it with a lot of people, but that is going to help you overcome this and save you hours of your time doing that. You're gonna to wanna to move this number down to under 2,500 for sure, and preferably between 1,800 and 2,000 pending connection requests. What I would recommend is anybody that's longer than two or three months and hasn't accepted your connection request, they've probably already rejected it or hit ignore. And you just wanna withdraw this because it's only gonna cause more harm keeping it withstanding. So withdrawing pending connection requests as well as time are going to be the two biggest factors, especially if these are early blocks for you. Then when you start doing activity again, you want to just start slow. You want to you know, start with five to 10 connection requests on day one, then break. Then you know, go up to 10 to 15 and do that slowly and steadily and take rest days in between. Because the worst thing that you can do is initiate another block while you're already looked at in you know, bad eyes with LinkedIn. LinkedIn is going to kind of give you a demerit since you have an action block. And the more demerits that you get, the more severe the blocks will become all the way up to never being able to send a connection request without having to input an email, which I also have a solution to that. So the next tier of action block is going to be something that you can fix with time, but you can also reach out to LinkedIn. So in the description in this video, I have a link to the safety and security team that is going to be the way to get in touch with LinkedIn directly and actually, you know, talk to a person and get a person to fix that problem. I'm sure a lot of you that are visiting this video have struggled to find how to get in contact with the person. So hopefully this helps solve 99% of your problems by talking to somebody. This is gonna be extremely useful, especially for a block that has lasted longer than a week or just reoccurring blocks that you can't get rid of. That's gonna to have to be something that a person manually takes off and you're gonna to have to kind of plead your case. So in that appeal, in the link that I shared in this bio, you're gonna to wanna to appeal and say to LinkedIn, you know, I'm not able to send out new connection requests without having to include an email or just not at all. And I'd really like to get this fixed. What they're going to do is they're going to send back, you know, you've been restricted. You've sent out too many connection requests. We've seen a period of abuse and we've restricted your account and they're not going to lift the restriction at that point. You'll then need to respond to that message again and say, I understand. I would like to make this appeal to lift the restriction on my account and make it so I'm able to send connection requests out again. You're gonna keep this back and forth until ultimately they remove that block. They should do it after the first contact point that you respond to their initial message, unless this is a more severe block that's going on you know, second, third, fourth, fifth time where you're reaching out to the safety and security team. If that's the case, I have a solution to this type of block, but it's not something that I've shared publicly. And I'm not ready to share this publicly yet because it's pretty intensive and a big workaround to the system. So send me a direct message on LinkedIn at Chris Casalino if you want to talk to me more about this method and we can hop on a call and do just that. Hopefully this video was helpful. The last thing that I'll touch on is the reasons why you're getting connection request blocks and how to avoid these. You're doing something ultimately that LinkedIn doesn't like. LinkedIn is penalizing you for using and abusing their system in their eyes. And the most common reason why is you're sending out a connection request and the person on the other end is hitting ignore and not just ignore, they're going and hitting, I don't know this person. And then they're saying that they don't know you. If enough of those get triggered, that's what initiates a block in many cases. If it's not a volume block because you sent out too many connection requests, it's going to be for that reason where too many people are saying, I don't know this person. Now, 
what I would first recommend is never sending a connection request out in that initial, or never sending a message in that initial connection request. That is going to help you a lot and be one of the biggest factors. The second thing is to make it so your targeting is a lot better. Target people that are going to be more likely to accept your connection request. The third thing is your profile is probably not optimized. Your headline's probably crappy. Your profile picture's crappy. You look like a sketchy person that people are ignoring. And not only ignoring, they're saying, I don't know this person. Or they might even be reporting you or blocking you in the worst case scenario. So you need to make sure your headline is not salesy, not something that is pitchy. And you need to make sure that your profile picture looks good. Those are going to be the ways that you avoid these blocks in the future, as well as sending out lower volume and doing this activity without the use of bots and automation. That is the biggest thing that's going to cause you to encounter this problem, or if you've used bots and automation in the past and you're not using them anymore. If you are using bots and automation and you want to figure out the ways to stop that, you can reach out to me. You can watch some of the other videos that I've created on how to go about doing that. And you can leave a comment as well below to talk about how to best go about doing that. And you'll see a lot higher quality of the results that you're able to ch achieve by doing the outreach yourself. Hopefully this video was helpful. Any other questions, leave in the comments or send me a direct message. Feel free to check out our website, uptowncreation.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel.